<laughs> Mr. Worldwide to infinity. <laughs> you know the roof on fire. We gon' boogie, oogie, oogie, jiggle, wiggle, and dance <laughs> like the roof on fire. We gon' drink drinks and take shots until we fall out like the roof on fire. Now, baby, get my booty naked, take off all your clothes and light the roof on fire. Tell her, tell her, baby, 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 I'm on fire. I tell her, baby, 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 I'm a fireball. I will never forget these words. With great power comes great responsibility. Love a black woman for infinity to infinity. Go read this book. Go. She told me that she loved me by the water fountain. She told me that she loved me and she... I'm glad you brought it up because I've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute. First of all, but there's a side to you that I never knew, never knew all the things you say they were never true, never true in the games you play. You would always win, always win. But I Lord, it's me again. If Beatreat has a million fans, then I'm one of them. If Beatreat has a hundred fans, then I'm one of them. If Beatreat has one fan, it's me. If Beatreat has no fans, I am no longer alive. If it is the world against Beatreat, I am against the world. I don't even need these lenses. 20 on 20, my vision. Bad yellow bitch with an eye on a price, but nigga, I ain't no million. Millions, thousands, billions.
whoever owns one of these, one I open while you're sleeping, bitch. I'm burglarizing your house. You're on my rob list. I hope you have security cameras and a fucking ring doorbell because I'm coming. Convincing you to read my favorite books based on their aesthetic. I want to come in with a big entrance. Right. I want to be suspended from the ceiling. Yeah. I almost want to be flying across the stage. Pull up in the monster automobile gangster with a bad bitch that came from Sri Lanka. No, because why does he do this? Like, you don't have to. This man is literally chaos embodied. Uh, for what? Why? What? Que paso? Why? Porque I don't understand. I've decided that this is the pathway to a fantastic friendship for them. Um, enemies to friends, enemies to besties. The best friendships are between you and the person who attempted to murder you multiple times. In this essay, I will. These are my thoughts on whether or not certain characters would call me the n-word. I saw Kendra do this and I think it's hilarious. First and foremost, we have the character, the headmaster from Ace of Spades. He would say it with such swiftness, it would come before it came before my name. He would address me as it. And we have Octavian from the Heroes of Olympus series. He would say it so quickly, I mean without even a second thought. Only when he gets angry though. Like, he uses it like as if it's supposed to hurt me. Then we have Nick Davis standing behind uh, Brie Matthews. He wouldn't even, he would beat the hell out of somebody who said it to me, okay? He would ride for me. He would stand up for me and make sure that I'm okay afterwards. Entire off-campus um, boys and girls, they would say it. In a song though, they wouldn't like, they'll be like, no, it's just a part of the song. And then like go to like counseling for it afterwards or something. Me and Annabeth are both cancers and I'd like to think he has a good heart, so he would kill them for me. Dark Percy wins, always. Stop what you're doing, shut up, and read this book. This one right here, Legendborn. This book was phenomenal. This is YA contemporary fantasy. Legendborn follows 16-year-old Brie Matthews, whose mother just died. She attends UNC Chapel Hill as a merit scholar. Her first night on campus, she witnesses a magical attack. She then meets Selvin Kane. Dark hair, light eyes, killer jawline, who attempts to take her memories but fails to do so. She's then swept into the magical world of the Legendborn, descendants of King Arthur and his knights. Their job is to kill demons and protect humankind. Brie finds out that they may be connected to her mother's death. So with the help of Nick Davis, blonde hair, blue eyes, self-exiled legend born, she finds herself pulled into the secret society to find the truth about her mother and her own abilities. First off, Brie is a baddie. She does not hesitate to put bigots in their place. The magic system, the world building, the romance, so intense and deep, this unconventional perspective on fantasy was so refreshing. The last hundred pages was so fucking insane. And not to be dramatic, but I would die for these characters.